morning children i feel extremely glad to welcome you all for this wonderful online learning we have completed till lesson 19 and now we are moving to lesson number 20 plant breeding plant breeding is a very important uh, concept to be learned and it is used in our day to day is life the technologies that we employ in the agricultural practices is uh, the need of the heart as the population keep increasing we depend more upon the food product for our survival we need to increase the production of our uh, agricultural product also so with the practices that we have been doing for the previous years is not sufficient we have to look for some other technology in which we can yield lots of plants products so that is what we are going to discuss in our today's link the various technologies the methods that is employed in the plant breeding how to preserve the food materials and how to market the products so all these will be learning in our today's class come on children let's gain knowledge and explore knowledge too a lesson number 20 breeding and biotechnology we are going to study about the various uh, technological development in breedings first let me go with what is plant breeding plant breeding is the art of developing economically important plants with superior quality so we are producing plants with superior quality yield that is what we call it as plant breeding animal husbandry is also the same where we breed a good variety of animals okay it aims at improving the phenotype of animal to make them more useful to the welfare of mankind so plant breeding is a art of developing economically important plants with superior quality and animal breeding is to produce animals that are more useful for the welfare of the human mankind is it clear children now let's go to the modern agricultural practice and the crop improvement it starts with the first topic called green revolution okay there are certain changes reformations brought in the field of agriculture which we call it as the green revolution it is a process of increasing food production through high yielding crop variety and modern agriculture technology so that is what we call it as green revolution in the field of agriculture various improvements have been adapted it was first brought out by dr norman e borlock is an american agronomist okay and he is called the father of green revolution and for this he has received the nobel prize in the year 1970 he is an american person but in india it is dr m s swaminathan This man joined with Dr. Borlaug and brought green revolution in India especially by introducing Mexican wheat and later he performed various research in the rice production also first let's see the breeding for high yield and better quality there are certain uh, plants as uh, produced by high yield especially semi dark variety in wheat and rice sonalika kalyan sona or semi dark variety of wheat developed from high yielding semi dark fertilizer response wheat brought from mexico so mexico wheat has been introduced into india by the name sonalika and kalyan sona the next one is ir8 ir8 rice is called the miracle rice okay this is a rice which is brought from philippines so these two are the breeding component that has been brought to india now let's look into disease resistant breeding breeding for disease resistant here are certain plants which are affected by the diseases if you take wheat disease may be caused on the leaves type rust and ill mold in cauliflower you will have black rot and in cowpea you will have bacterial blight so these uh, plants have been modified by the disease causing enzymes and it has been uh, produced into a new variety called imigri and cauliflower a new variety is puza subra puza snowball and in cowpea the new variety is puza komal so these are the new varieties of plants which was breeded for the disease 
resistance next uh, plant breeding for insects and pest resistant you got certain plants brassica flat bean lady's finger and they are affected by the pest aphids and flat bean is affected by leaf opper aphid and uh, fruit borer lady finger is affected by shoot and uh, fruit borer that is an insect okay so uh, breeding has been done and modified and a new variety is produced and these are the names of the newly produced varieties of the plants the next topic would be plant breeding for improved nutritional quantity first we saw for disease resistance the second one we saw for the pest resistance third we are looking into nutrient quality so to increase the nutrient quality that is the protein content oil content and the mineral content we are doing certain breeding technology which is called as biofortification okay children biofortification is a scientific process of developing crops plant enriched with high level of desirable nutrient which we call it as the biofortification let's see some of the examples proteina shakti and ratna three these are the hybrid maize which is developed in india then atlas 66 or protein rich wheat variety you can see in the pictures the protein maize is given then atlas 66 is given a protein rich wheat variety then iron rich fortified rice variety vitamin a enriched carrot pumpkin and spinach so these are the various products which was produced by breeding for improving nutritional high quality next we'll move on to method for crop improvement what are the techniques that we do first is introduction selection poly breeding mutation breeding and hybridization to make up a plant breeding first we need to introduce what is introduction it is a process of introducing high yielding variety of plant from one species to another such plants are called as exotic species okay see so i find a plant which is grow good in producing fruits so that plant i am transferring it to my place which we call it as introduction for example let's take the plums of ooty in ooty the plums are very good so what i am doing i am taking that plant and introducing into chennai or pondicherry which is called as introductions okay and there are many other plants also given here that is fascio munga was introduced from china our ulund okay black gram which is introduced into china, india now after introduction we go for selection the plant is uh, selected with the best breeding all plants cannot be grown because after yield you may have certain failures in the production so what we do is we select selection is one of the oldest method of plant breeding in which individual plants or group of plants are sorted out it is separated it is segregated and is selected what are the methods of selection mass selection pure line selection and colonial selection what i do in mass selection is you can see in this picture group of plants is there mixed population is there from the mixed population i segregate only two types you can find the varieties are shown by circle and square boxes and again the circles are completely separated and i take that alone which is called as the mass selection so this is very important for the breeding the next one is pure line breeding in it a single individual is obtained by self breeding again and again i keep on crossing over so that i get a pure one without any contamination individual plant progeny from them are evaluated separately the best one is released okay i don't take up the mass one i don't take it in group i take only the individual which are very good so pure line variety is selected then the third type is clonal clonal selection this is very much with the tissue culture children where you take a tissue and you make a clone you do you remember clone what is a clone okay you make a plant tissue culture there and many xerox copies of the plant is taken and that selection we call it as the clonal selection so these are the three types of selection the next topic would be polyploidy breeding what happens in polyploidy see children 
in some chromosome the chromosomal numbers may increase it may be two sets of chromosomes or a single chromosome if a set of chromosome is there it is called diploid 2n if only one set is there one set is there then it is called as haploid if you take human body 46 haploid chromosomes and 23 diploid chromosome because when you make it pair we call it as diploid when it is a single set we call it as the haploid and what is polyploid more than two set is called the polyploid so this uh, more than two sets breeding with this is called polyploid breeding it is mainly done by physical agents or chemical agents physical agents such as heat or cold treatment and chemical agents by call key kind so this is a substance which is used for producing the polyploid breeding and you can find the achievements the plants that are produced by polyploid you can find seedless watermelon seedless banana tv29 it is a trifo triploid v variety of t and triticale that is 6n exoploid okay exoid is there by, by making a combination of wheat and a ray and then is uh, raffino brassica is an allotroploid okay these are the varieties waterless uh, seed sorry seedless watermelon and banana triploid variety of tree exoploid tragical and the tetraploid raffino brassica these are the advantage of the polyploid breeding the next one is mutational breeding see sudden change in the chromosome is called the mutation so by cause of the mutation we have changes in the chromosome the original character will be modified so how do we make this mutation by mutagenic agent physical mutagenic agents like x rays alpha rays beta rays and gamma rays and chemical mutagens are by mustard gas nitrous acid so these are the substances which bring about the changes in the chromosomes and what are the plants that is produced you can find sabarbadi sonare it is a wheat okay we call it as sonare 64 by using gamma rays it is converted to sabarbadi sonare the next one is atamita 2 rice it shows tolerance to saline saline means water salt water usually plants don't grow in salt water but this atamita 2 rice it has the ability to grow in salt water and the third one is groundnut with a thick shell so these are the outcomes of our uh, mutational breeding next we'll move to hybridization what is hybridization process of crossing one or two types of plants for bringing their desirable characters together is called the hybrid the offspring is called hybrid and the process is called hybridization so hybridization you cross two types of plants by crossing two types of plant is hybridization the product obtained is called the hybrid okay this hybrid is uh, carried in the triticale whether this is triticale is the first man made cereal which is formed by uh, hybriding triticum durum and ray ivunga rendu perum cross panni namakku kedaikka koodiyadhu da enadhu triticale which is the first made you make note of it this may you may get it in your one mark question this is regarding plant breeding now let's go to animal breeding first we have to understand what is a breed breed is a group of animal of compound origin within a species that has certain distinguishing characters that are not found in other members of the same species they have many common characters but few characters are very distinct unique such thing is called it as a breed now what is breeding involving matching parents of different varieties okay when you match one parent with another one we call it as the breeding now objectives of animal breeding okay what are the objectives uh, animal breeding aim to improve domesticate animals to increase their yield that is the main thing that is production of milk production of egg production of meat now the breeding is of two types one is called inbreeding the other one is called outbreeding when you breed takes place with the same breed same variety it is called inbreeding when the cross is between two different one it is called the out breeding so inbreeding and out breeding let's look into what is inbreeding now 
Inbreeding refers to mating of closely related animals within the same species. Okay. Closely related within the same species. Let's see the examples. Isaridiel is a new breed of sheep. Sheep developed in Punjab by crossing Bikarni, Makre, Eaves and Australian Merino Roms. Okay, by crossing these two, we have got an Isar. Both comes under the sheep variety only. So, it is called inbreeding. Okay, now what is an uh, out breeding? It is a breeding of unrelated animals. Both are not related at all. You got an example over here. See, male donkey crossed with a female ours. Donkey is a different group. Ours is a different group. When you cross, you get a new type. What is it called as? Mule. Okay, this is an example for outbreeding. What is mule? Mule is superior to ours in strength, intelligence, ability to work and resistance to diseases. But mule is a sterile one. You can see in this picture, we have got a horse. Horse is crossed with a donkey. Horse is fertile. Donkey is also fertile. And you get a mule. Mule is very much looking similar to both horse and donkey. Okay. But this mule is a sterile one. They cannot go for a fertilization to the next generation. So, it, this is an example. Now, let's move to atrosis. What is atrosis? It's a very important thing. Superiority of the hybrid. You've got two parents. The parents are crossed. And the result product, the offspring, will be superior to the mother, which we call it as the atrosis. Atrosis production will increase production of milk, increase production of egg, high quality of meat, Increased growth rate. So, these are the outcomes of atrosis. Finally, we come to genetic engineering, children. Genetic engineering is nothing but doing some changes in the gene. We call it as manipulating, okay? Manipulating means what? Changes in the gene is called genetic engineering. Or transferring the gene from one organism to another to create a recombinant DNA. There is a original DNA, but I take some unwanted thing and add some desired quality to it so that I get a new DNA, which we call it as the recombinant DNA. That is how we are going to produce a new plant. So, production of the plant by genetic engineering. You can see the picture in the next thing. The techniques. What are the techniques we use here? First, we need a plasmid. Okay. Let's, let me go with the explanations in the diagram. Just one second. Fine. We need a plasmid. We need a plasmid. This is a plasmid. Okay. This plasmid gets broken up. Okay. This is a pearl plasmid. Plasmid is nothing but a chromosomal, extra chromosomal structure. Extra chromosomal structure. So, I delete, I cut some of the unwanted things. So, I cut it using a restriction, restriction endo nucleus. By using restriction endo nucleus, I cut a certain part of the plasmid. Now, I have an organism with the desirable qualities. There, the pieces are there. I take this one. Sorry, little. Okay. I take this one and join with the cut plasmid. So, this is a plasmid and this region is cut. It's free. Now, I transfer this material over this region and I join it using DNA ligase. Okay. This is what is called recombinant DNA technology. I repeat again with a little more modified diagram. See, this is a plasmid. This plasmid is here. And in this plasmid, I am cutting up a region. The region which, is, which I don't like, undesirable characters, I am cutting it. Okay? I am cutting this region and removing it. It is removed. Now, what do I do? I take another uh, desirable characters in some other uh, cell. Those cell, I am just uh, pasting into my plasmid. This is my cut plasmid. 
my cut plasmid is kept over here to this plasmid i am joining the cut piece now if you see a recombination has taken place this is the original one now what duplicate a recombinant this is what was there originally and this is what you have added newly added so the added one is called the donor sorry receptant is called the receptant and that which is a uh, given out is called the donor so donor you taken away cut at one and a new thing is added in it. this is called your genetic engineering so for doing genetic engineering you need a plasmid you need a restriction enzyme you need a dna ligase dna ligase is for joining it acts like a paste restriction enzyme is a cutting substance which is also known as molecular scissor plasmid is the extra chromosomal structure which helps in transferring the dna so this is how the genetic engineering takes place okay and using this process you have found many pharmaceutical products are produced that is insulin for the treatment of diabetes human growth hormone for treating children with a growth deficiency and blood clotting factors are developed for treating hemophilia and the tissues plasmogen activator is used to dissolve blood clots dissolve blood clots and prevent heart attack developing of vaccine against various diseases like hepatitis b and rabies so these are the products which are formed out of uh, genetic engineering next let's move to a very important topic called the gene therapy gene therapy is a replacement of defective gene in human being if any gene is damaged we remove that gene and replace it with another gene that is called the gene therapy this technology is very very useful for the mankind there are two types of gene therapy one is called somatic gene therapy the other one is called germ line gene therapy replacement of the domestic defective cells in somatic body cells it is called somatic gene therapy replacement in germ cells that is egg or sperm it is called germ line gene therapy so this is very much useful for today's mankind living and uh, stem cell therapy next is stem cell sometimes cell tissues and organs in the body may be permanently damaged or lost due to genetic conditions or disease or injury in such situation stem cells are useful for the treatment and such disease treatment is called stem cell therapy okay what is it called as stem cell therapy so this is about your uh, thing and in treating neuro de degenerative disorders like uh, parkinson's disease and alzheimer disease neuroconal uh, neuronal stem cells can be used to replace the damage so this is very much useful for uh, many of the treatments okay for many parents this treatment are uh, a boon to save their children the next uh, final topic would be dna fingerprinting technology what is this dna fingerprinting okay you take therefore if you want to compare the genetic differences among the two individual dna fingerprinting is the easier and quicker method okay what does this technique do this technique analyzes each individual unique dna sequence and provides distinctive characters of individual which helps in identification very much useful for what is the use of this for fro forensic application like crime investigation okay have you heard about dna testing for investigating crime criminals finding identification of the culprit so that's very important and helps in the study of genetic disorder of the population evolution and the specification with this uh, we are uh, moving to the end of the lesson hope uh, you will understand this topic and the last topic is genetic modified organism due to genetic engineering certain more substance have been modified yaran paapo vaanga beta carotene gene in human beta carotene is required for synthesis of vitamin a which has been modified then beta 
gene from bacteria bacillus thuringiensis we call it as beta gene so these are the changes taking place in the plants in animals what are the modified thing genes for synthesis of amino acid cytin has been modified salmon or rainbow trout or tulipia uh, growth hormone gene these have been changed so these are some of the technological uh, which we have uh, formed in the plant breeding i believe children you have understood things and if you have any doubt ask to me and i am ready to clarify thank you children for watching stay blessed